Hey everybody, my name is Nicholas Walker and I chose to do prompt two for the third genetic exam video. So as we look at the first individual, we can tell that this is a paracentric inversion crossover because as we know, paracentric means um, without the centromere. And we see the centromere right here that's in the same position for both chromosomes. And, uh, but we know it's an inversion because the ML is in this position, whereas the L and the M is in this position, so different locations, as well as the GH and then the HG, and you can tell they're, you know, inverted. So as we look, we want to see, um, we want to figure out uh, the chromatids and the results for them. So as you look for the first one, it would be just the exact same thing as this one up here, because as you can see, the first one, it is not affected, and if you go all the way around, it, it is not involved with the crossover. So it would be a normal non-recombinant gamete because it's not um, crossed. So chromosome two, however, is a different story because as you can tell, it would be MLI and then the centromere JKM. So if you look at this one, you just keep following it, centromere, and then where you get right here, you're gonna have the crossover between the J and the K region. So you would go down here and then you would keep following it all the way back. Um, and then this would, of course, be non-viable recombinant um, gamete. And of course, it'd be non, it wouldn't be viable because of it being involved in the crossover as a recombinant. And then for chromosome 3, it would be a non-recombinant gamete uh, with a paracentric inversion because if you would follow it all the way in here, you can tell, you know, it is not involved with the crossover right here. Um, however, chromosome or chromatid 4... You follow that one around, that one is involved with the crossover in which it'll go up here and then finish out right there. And then that would be as well as the same as two, a non-viable recombinant gamete. And then, so if you look at individual two, this is a pericentric inversion because the centromere is involved with these two chromosomes in which they are not in the same position. And as you can tell, if you don't notice this, um, this is the same as the first individual. However, if you look at this, this is this is the exact same as this. It's just completely inverted. The entire chromosome is inverted. So it would be the same as this. It would be the same process as this, in which you would get the exact same you know results um, with chrom chromatid one and two, or one and three being. Um, viable and then chromatid two and four um, being non-viable. And in conclusion, I wanna say that the fitness would be the exact same because they would have the same chromatid results. Thank you very much.